on Divorce Court today. Can an encounter with hotel security lead to love? It did for this couple. Nikki was with a party of rowdy guests, and Sylvester was called in to make peace. Their union was bliss, till accusations of jealous stalking tore them apart. Nikki Lett and Sylvester Ellis have brought their dispute for Judge Lynn Toller to resolve. Testimony in divorce court starts now. You two are looking to separate here, and Mr. Ellis, you say that she is very jealous. And I believe, based on what I read, that she's jealous now because of the way you two met to begin with. So, Ms. Lett, I want you to tell me, how did you two meet? We met one night. It was girls' nights with me and my friends, and we ended up at a hotel where they have parties at. Mm -hmm. And upon coming in, I seen this nice-looking chocolate fellow, and we caught eyes, and it was like, mm, mm -hmm. okay, this security, nice-looking. I know. So, um... As me and my girls, we partying, uh, we drinking. You know, you have to use the restroom, and ladies never take their back their drinks in the bathroom. Mm -hmm. So I was looking for my girlfriend to hold my drink, but she wasn't there. And he walked up, and I asked him, Sylvester Ellis, to watch my drink by him being security and in a uniform. You know, protect Keep your and serve. secure. Exactly, exactly. Uh -huh. So I went to the restroom, came out, got my drink. Um, so, you know eye contact, little flirting, and small talk began. And I found out that we had a lot in common. Did she get the, the meeting story right? She, she just wanted me. That's all that was. That's all yeah. that was. She wasn't well, she Well, she was honest. She said she saw a fine chocolate drop. Yeah, she was honest She was about talking that. about she it. Was, she was honest. So yeah. she was honest. Yeah. She liked what she saw. I'm not going to disagree saw. with that. I'm not going to disagree with that. But basically, she got it right. She got it right. You know, we had a good time that first night. Not well, that type of fun. No, not okay. That type of fun. No, no, all right, all no, right. I'm a southern good now, y'all. Okay, okay. That's good. Now, Mr. Ellis, you say, however, that you still work security at a yes. hotel, yes. and part of the problem is she thinks that since you're working at a hotel, that you cheating with women that come to the hotel. Tell I, me about what she thinks you're doing. I don't understand. I mean, me and her, we would go to the hotels and we would have fun in the rooms. So now she's thinking, well, since I'm not going up there all the time now, you must be doing it with somebody else. And I don't understand. She's the special one. I only did it with her. So, like, you would go into a room? We would go into... I'm not going to get into detail about it. No, I know. Uh, I don't want to know what happened in there. I'm <laughs> saying, but... You were just like, oh, I got a key to this room. Let's go in to there. Every single room. You know, you want to come up here? Hey, let's go to the suite. Let's go have fun. Everything. Did you ever get caught? Nah. Nah. Never nah. got caught. I'm security. Nah. Why don't you tell me what is the most outrageous thing she's done as a jealous woman? So we have time for just one, or are we going in the... Start with that one, and then we'll work our, work our way over. I, one, one night, I decided I want to go to my friend's house and watch a football game. I'm going out. I work all day, every day. She was like, you're not going anywhere. I was like, no, I'm going out. So I left. She decides to call me 63 times in less than an hour. I did. So... Now, what did you think that was going to accomplish? First, he should have answered on the first ring, mm -hmm. and, um... You ain't gonna answer them. I'm just gonna call and you're not gonna have a good time at all. You're gonna answer why me one you, way or another. Why did you think he was doing something wrong to begin with? He has the right to have the friends. Thing, the thing about Sylvester is he's a charmer, he's slick, and he's a ladies' man. He mm -hmm. expressed that in the beginning. Oh, I give the women this. Oh, he opened doors for other women, but right. you're not opening the door for me. If you can tell a woman she's nice and she look pretty, I'm quite sure you can tell me the same exact thing. I don't trust his friends. They, they young, basically. Mm -hmm. I'm older. And mm -hmm. things that they're doing, I'm not doing. If you're gonna, you know doing, If you're going to go anywhere, you should at least bring your mate around. Yeah. I don't even go around the friends to even know who's around, so I want to know. Does he say you can't go or do exactly. you not want to go? I, I, you can't go. Uh, you can't do this or you can't do that. Why not? Because wherever I go, my gatherings, my parties, he's there with me front and center on my own. But I can't be on your arm? Nah, something ain't right. And I don't care nothing about we watching football with the fellas, because guess what? At home, I'm one of the fellas. We watch football every other Sunday together. All of a sudden, now we not. Guys got, to ha got a right to have guys night. I mean, you've had girls night. You all met the, him on girls all night. All the time. No, no man wants to be, you know, have his wife 
hooked to him by a chain, and he, everywhere he goes, you got to go too. But it's not like that, Your Honor. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Even if it's a card party, and, and we spade partners, and we the best at what we do, why you ain't got your partner with you? Why well, can't I? I have not been to one thing with, oh, this is my girl. I, I feel like I'm being hidden. I and see. everybody know who years, he is. Really Mr. 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 Ellis, let me ask you this. Do you not take her anywhere with you? I take her places. Your mama house. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired of being an option when I need to be a priority. Bottom line. I like that line. Oh, is she an oh. option and not a priority? Mr. Ellis, now think about it, though. Are you taking her for granted? It's not... She's not special anymore. She's just commonplace and customary. Is that... Think about it, though, Mr. Ellis. Think about it. All right, I'll think about that. If you think about somebody calling you 63 times, and then she called my friend when I answered the phone. And I get that, and that's a separate issue. I'm asking you about how you treat her generally. Do you go places with her and do things, or is she just I take her a everywhere. convenience? I take her everywhere I go except to my friend's house. That's all. I don't want her over my friends. My friends don't even get along with her. Just, just keep it 100. They don't even get along with her because she's crazy. That's why. Do you not get along with his friends? I don't know him to get along with him. I oh. haven't met him, if you oh. ask me. I mean, I have been you introduced. Me, you've met him. Oh, she met him. If you, know, you him, ask she him out too. me, no one never really got to get to know who I am. So I feel like because I'm older and they used to him running with these thoughts and thoughtlers or whatever the case may be. Thoughtlers? I've thought heard of thoughts, yes, but not yes. thought What's a thoughtler? Um, I you, know what a thought is. Um, you know, the little baby. Oh, a young thought. Yeah, younger, you know, because yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm seasoned. Uh huh. You know, uh -huh. and I need for him to stay on this program and not be distracted by what your friends are doing because they're free to do this and they're free to do that. But these people live at home with their mamas. You and me, we live together. I so got you cannot you. do what you once did when you was a single man. You need to respect me and respect how I feel. I understand the nature of your problem and I understand the nature of yours as well. Next, was the sexy picture Nikki found on Sylvester's phone really just an accident? Divorce isn't easy. If you need help with your breakup, call toll-free 1-877-311-2222 or visit our website at divorcecourt.com. Become a fan at facebook.com slash divorcecourt. Divorce Court, real relationships, raw emotion. Testimony continues now. I understand what you're telling me about his friends, and I agree with you on some level, but not on another level. But I'm gonna go past that for a moment and talk about something a little more concrete, which is, you say that some woman sent a picture of herself <laughs> to him, and your explanation was a little weak, I must say. But I'm gonna start with Ms. Lett. Why don't you tell me what kind of picture it was and who sent it to her. It was like a treasure trove selfie because she wasn't cute and it wasn't job or work related. <laughs> so I'm not understanding why a woman would be texting our phone. I don't know her. I got the message, I seen the picture, and I called. And what she said? She asked the phone time and oh, I thought this was Sylvester. Well, you are speaking to Sylvester because we are one. What's your problem? What's your issue? And why are you texting? And an uh, ugly picture at that. Come, I am so Southern pretty. Don't downgrade. <laughs> I like you, Miss Lett. I'm just gonna say. <laughs> I don't know if I'd want to live with you, but I like you. <laughs> yes, you uh, would. Uh, yes, you uh, would. Uh, did she have less than enough clothes on, or no, was it just her face? No, she had all her clothes on except the bag. That was all was missing. She would have had a bag of her You're head. You're cold, it Ms. Lett. You're just cold. Mr. Mr. Ellis, why mm -hmm. don't you tell me who this woman was and why you believe she us. sent them a picture? She was a co-worker who... Right. And she was texting her mate, I guess, and she sent it to my phone. She was texting what? her man and sent it to you by accident? I was so at she work. was Sylvester Ellis, too? I was at work. I, I, I was Sylvester Ellis, All wife. I know is I get a call talking to some, who is this, who is this picture? I'm like, what are you talking about? So I see the picture, and, I, and I, I, I confront the lady about it, like, um, you know, I got a girlfriend at home, you know, she's thinking this, that, and the third. So she calls her woman to woman and lets her know it's nothing going on. 
You know, I was thinking. Did that happen? Something. Yes, it happened. But do I look like a fool? Ain't no woman finna come call me. Like oh, that. oh my God, act it like was that. an accident. It was this. It wasn't. Nah, baby, you ain't covering up your tracks like that. But uh, uh not today, baby. No, ma'am, you can oh, so... save the drama for your mama, cause I ain't trying to hear it. Not gonna hear it. Yep, save it. Yep, yep, that's what I deal with. So it goes from that to her showing up on my job the next day trying to fight. I showed sure did. What happened when she showed up? What you? What did Thank she do? Thank God she wasn't there. She had a Vaseline in the bag. She was ready oh, to Oh, you scrap. came up with Vaseline and everything? I bet your hoops no, were out South, and you baby. had all flats and I'm you were ready to go. I'm talking about Jordan's on and everything. I was ready to go that water, baby. We was going to dance a good dance. Ooh. Aren't you concerned that he would get fired if you came up there well, assaulting you, well, people? Well, you know what, Young? I work just as well. And if he would have got fired, I guess I would have had to carry us. It don't even matter. But I'm not going to be disrespected. I'm not going to be played with. People are going to know who I am. And you're going to let people know. I shouldn't have to tell people. As a man, you should let the whole world know everything day who I'm with. Or she gonna beat him up. Now, I'm gonna say this, Ms. Lett. You're a nice looking woman. Nice looking woman. Got a great smile, but you like a freight train. Would you agree that it is difficult to be affectionate with a freight train? Would you? Um, <laughs> no, because everybody needs love. Whether it's a, a freight train, it's podium, or sign, it, it doesn't matter. I just feel as though if he wouldn't have done the things that he have done, that we wouldn't be where we at. Jeez, and if we I'm talk done. constantly every day about no, things that need to be corrected. what have you caught him doing? I just don't see any... I don't see tea. any real signs of cheating. Huh? He may be hanging out with guys you don't like. Yeah, yeah la, 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 okay, la, da, but da, let da, me da. tell you this. Oh, and another example. Um, Got his phone again. Lo and behold, this time we got pictures of two th thotties. <laughs> they in there half naked. Exes, what's up with that? This... <laughs> It was an old phone that I had from before her, and it was at my mama house. You know, I found the phone, but I didn't turn it on. So she turned it on first, so she seen it before I did. So That's not the, the picture was before her. So it's Were not they like- they before you? Was it an old phone? They Come was on, Ms. Lett. But exactly. let me tell you something, Judge. At the end of the day, when you get into something new, you dot your eyes, you cross your T's. You understand me? You got pictures, you delete them, you set them on fire, you burn them. Because guess what? How would he feel if, if I had pictures with my exes in boxers, tatted up, all glistening and all sexy? I think he would feel some kind of way. I hear you. When Divorce Court continues, what happened the night Sylvester gave a friend a ride to her train? Do you believe that the sexy text Nikki found on Sylvester's phone was an accident? Call 1-800-282-1991 to vote now and see if America agrees with your opinion. He'll also receive some valuable offers. Call now. If you would like your case heard on Divorce Court, call us toll free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. And join the conversation on Twitter at Divorce Court. Divorce Court continues. Continuing on with your logic, Ms. Lett, did you, at the time you two joined together, go through all your phones, your emails, your social media, and delete everything and everybody that preceded him? I did, but he didn't. You want to know why? Because we got the same phone again. This man right here don't know how to log out. He don't know how to erase. They got apps. Hide my stuff from my girlfriend. I mean, you can download it. I'm just saying. It's out there, y'all. It's out there. And so he won't even use an app for it. He won't even use the app. And he got a droid. There's nothing to hide. That's why. She's complaining about your sex life. Mm-hmm. Mm, yes. She, she always complains. Mm -hmm. That's all she does is complain. Mm. Well, what, give me a, a list of the things that she complains about or some of the more outrageous things that I she's see. done. No, oh, you put I'm your sorry. arm down. That, let, let that man talk oh, okay. for at least a minute or he two. He don't say true. I see the nature of your problem, no doubt. But why don't you tell me some of the things that she's done that has caused you embarrassment, concern, or distress? Okay, besides showing up on my job, after work, she comes and picks me up from work. A coworker says, can I get a ride to the train station? We go on past the train station. It's about a five-minute ride. Co-worker gets in, she turns around, she's on the phone, she said, hold on, I gotta call you back. I knew it was going downhill after that. She turned around, I'll beat you, and I'll beat you. I'm just sitting here like, oh my, in front of my job. The girl's like, let me out of the car. Let me out of the car. Let me out of the car. <laughs> I unlocked the door and let her out. 
she gets out the What's car. What's wrong with giving a co-worker a ride to a train station you're going to pass by? First of all, you know how she got to work? That's how she need to leave for work. I don't care if we was riding, skating, or flying. You're not going to be a passenger, boo. That's what you're not going to do. No, ma'am. And if anything, I, as a man, you should have came to me and said, yo, babe, um, you, you, is it okay to give a co-worker a ride? I don't care about that being his car, but guess what? When it okay. comes to insurance, when it comes to gas, tires, oil, I pitch in and help just as well. So what's yours is mine, and what's mine is his. Mr. Ellis, would you, you care to respond? Well, how do you respond to that? <laughs> <laughs> I understand, Mr. Ellis. I really do, because there's really no good way to go. Yeah. If no I matter what it, happens, she got a, she's got a saying and an argument for it. <laughs> and it just gets <laughs> worse. Let, let me ask you. Just, just, do you think that Maybe one way to ensure a continuing loving union is to be a loving person as opposed to an e eternally combative one. I am a loving person, Your Honor. I cook for this man. Oh, she do? I clean for this man. I'm not only his, his hopefully, future wife. I'm a psychiatrist. I'm, I'm all of these things to him, and I want the same in return. Uh, Does she do a lot for you? Oh, she does a lot. She does a lot. I she, mean, she takes care yeah, of you. She, takes she care handles of you. your business. She yeah. looks after you. Watch yeah. them draw yeah. my hand. If we broke, y'all, I'm talking about in the tub. Old school. I'm from the South. Now, you know, I get the boy. I get the... <laughs> Uniform all. Yes, I does that. Clip toenail, wash hair, all of that. I cater to this man. You clip his toenails? Yes, I do rub that feet, too. Judge Lynn Toller's ruling next. Divorce Court, Judge Lynn Toller's ruling right now. Now I'm confused. I'm just going to say that. I'm a little bit confused, and I want to clear it up. You came here wanting $1,950 for the rent. Exactly. If he don't get his stuff together, then it is what it is. He got to go, and by his name being on the lease as well as mine, I have my half. I'm going to need for him to have his half, because I don't need that on my credit. No, ma'am. So are you leaving? Because... <laughs> I don't think she wants you to go. She don't want me to go nowhere. Man. Do you want to go? If she don't stop acting crazy, I want to go. But I, I like this. I love her, man. I don't want her to go nowhere. You know what I'm saying? I love, I love our relationship. I love our friendship. I just don't like this crazy stuff. I'm going to leave you. Show me. I'm like Jerry Maguire. Show me the money, baby. Show me everything. <laughs> it's like, I, I love her, but it's like, it's like living with a private investigator, man. It's just, it's horrible. She's like, you, you, never, right. you never know who she's gonna be. When she's cooking, she's in You know, Jemima. normally when I get to this stage, I usually say, I'm gonna make an attempt to keep you together because I'm a believer in the whole tuness. I, I love it. I think it's wonderful. But I'm worried if I send you home, you might get hurt. Nah, I love him too much, Yon. I love him. Here's him. what I'm gonna say to you. I think you need to go out and do things with her more out in public and make sure you introduce her as your lady. So work with me here. Work with me. I think you're wrong. I think you're afraid of something that hasn't happened yet and probably isn't going to happen. You need to be so secure in how bad you are, I am. how beautiful. No, you're not. I you am. say you, you talk a good game, mm. but your actions say otherwise. If you were secure, you could have a girl in the back of the car and take her to the station. You're it, not secure. It maybe, yeah. And, and that's the small things that maybe. you could do. It's just say, hey, baby, this is Joan. Joan, she, she needs it right there, but do you mind? You're causing your own problems in a certain respect. This woman is insecure. She talks a good game, but she is insecure. Do those things that'll make her a little more secure. You don't have to stop seeing your friends or whatever, but you can do a little this, that, and there. But Ms. Lett, stop. Rest assured that if he cheats, you dump him and you move forward. Right? And then you can come here and I'll give you money. Okay. Okay? Do you see what I'm saying? Well, can I get some money for the headache medicine that I get all the time when she yelling and screaming? Listen, life, love, marriage, relationships, it's all a lot of headache. If I were to do that, everybody would be around changing money all day long. My husband owes me seven million five hundred and fifty-five thousand dollars <laughs> and I owe him at least ten. So it's not gonna work out. There will be no recovery in this matter. It is so ordered. 
Nikki and Sylvester agree with the judge's ruling, and he vows to work hard to make Nikki feel more secure in their relationship. Post a comment or submit your case at divorcecourt.com or call toll free 1 877 311 2222. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter at Divorce Court.